and that is how tall I am welcome to <laughs> life with love you're also propped up on a, a bench so your your original um, footing is a, a bar stool so anyway hi guys how you doing I am standing up to do this video because I just finished my two lives on Facebook and on Instagram for the boutique I as you can see don't always have time to do my hair that short hair life is real I have on a beautiful maxi dress which I am in love with and I took the scarf that comes with it because all of my maxi dresses come with scarves hence this scarf right here um, and this is how wide it is and wrapped it around my head because I have not done my hair but that's it neither here nor there let me tell you what I'm here to talk to you about what I am here to talk to you about today guys is a new perfume that I procrastinated on and I'm sorry about it I'm gonna apologize up front I am sorry about it now if you guys are new over here to the channel then let me say this stick around hit the subscribe button make sure you turn the notifications on and make sure you give me a big thumbs up so I would appreciate it if you do that I would appreciate it if you will subscribe to my channel and I would appreciate it if you would bring a friend to subscribe to my channel now to talk about the um, thing about why I am standing in my closet because I just finished filming for Facebook and Instagram for my um, my online brand and I this is where I film because I pull out stuff from my closet all the time so yes does it seem a little unorganized and crazy right now yes but it is a lot around me and this is where we are filming anyway don't judge me I won't judge you what are we talking about today love so I did not properly do a haul I have passed the haul point and we are moving on so I got my way for this fragrance the for the this new the next stop on the fragrance journey I procrastinated let me tell you why I procrastinated I'm gonna give you a story because sometimes there is a story sometimes there's a story here is a story I went to um, Tyson's Corner which is a large mall in Virginia and it is one of my favorite places to shop but here's what happened not only did I just go to Tyson's Corner I went on a perfume hunt so I was picking up perfumes I smelled several perfumes Armani my way was on the list it did not make it home with me I think I brought what did I buy that trip I brought Edol and I think I only brought one perfume and I brought clothes so I literally fudged the entire trip i think i found clothes and sex um it might have been like sex and neiman's i found clothes and then i ran into macy's with my last little bit of change and i brought e doll <laughs> that is 100 percent what happened okay okay that's 100 percent what happened so we have my way i ordered it it was part of my birthday um my birthday celebration i ordered a few fragrances for my birthday and i've already started to wear them to talk about them and so at this point right now I, I just refuse to do a birthday haul I, I may or may not because I did pick up some good things but it would it would be after this video which is the, the name of the game anyway so here is the bottle listen the berry notes in here this almost is two fragrances so it opens up with the sweetest berriest fruitiest deepest it, it it smells like it's like the first bite that is so good like so you know how you you have something that you maybe you've never tried or it's just a great meal and you take that first bite and that first bite is everything that you love or even that last bite like that's what it's like when you do this and then the dry down to me can sometimes feel like a different fragrance if that makes sense so it opens up and is the life of the party and then she has danced all day all the the entire party and then she goes and sits down that is what this fragrance does but it is beautiful like I would spray it on repeat just to get that opening flavor on repeat and then the dry down I'm like okay like honestly that's how I feel about it but I want to talk about what's in it in it because I, I want to say it's like a um a blackberry in this first of all I love the color of the juice I love the um 
what i do also love is the 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 cap oh my god it is just so gorgeous i know that the Privé line has that cap and i saw that when i used to watch um the the uh british vloggers they used to do when they did the um, when armani released Privé, they used a lot of bloggers for that and so they had that beautiful it was like an iridescent pink top and i was like oh that top is life so I loved it. Alright, so we know that Armani dropped in 2020. And if you don't know, that's why it was on my list. It was just one of the ones that I wanted to try for 2020. Yes. So it dropped in 2020. And the color of the juice is almost like a pink. It's not a gold. It's like a rosy pink that's exactly like what the color of the juice is, just so you know. So it says top notes are orange blossom and bergamot. You're not gonna tell me there's no berry in here. The middle notes are tuberose and Indian jasmine. Am I on the right fragrance? There's, there's a berry note in here. It has to be. There is a blackberry note in here. I, it has to be. Whew. And then the base notes are the musk, the vanilla, and the cedar. That is what the dry down is. It is the musk. The dry down is the musk. The musk can be a little bit of a... Uh, you know, sometimes fragrance dry downs for me might not be my favorite of of when you experience a fragrance. But it is definitely the dry down for me. The vanilla can come off a little strong. The musk would mix with the vanilla can come off a little strong. And I feel like that is what that dry down does. So it goes from this big, happy, happy, happy fragrance to this musk with that hint of vanilla. But, but, and with that wood, that cedar... And mix in with that wood and it becomes a skin scent but it lasts so long this must have lasted on my skin for at least four to five to six hours it was almost an all day um, and again the opening is so worth the party that I would keep it so this is like one of my this is gonna go on my list for um, my um, keep what is it is it keep 10 forever or keep 20 forever I can't keep the list I think it's keep 20 forever if it's 10 forever I am fudged because I <laughs> It might be keep 10 forever. I am not sure, but baby, look at look at the atomizer. Mmm. It's so good. So orange blossom, bergamot. It just seems like there's something deeper than that. Um, and I know orange blossom can come off a little deep. Because orange can come off a little bitter. Sometimes orange, orange blossom can come off a little bitter. But I'm telling you, there is... There seems to be a berry in here, but it's beautiful. That jasmine note, after all of that hits, you can get it, but it's not like that jasmine, um, that too much jasmine where it makes you feel like you're having like a, a allergy, like you, you might react with your allergies, because I, I definitely have good uh, bad allergies sometimes. It is just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful and it's worth the blind buy. If, if you don't like an overly sweet. Now, it's going to come off a little overly sweet, so it's like a deep, overly sweet amazing party and then it dries down um so imagine this imagine going into a party and you're drinking tequila and you are having a good time you might have a margarita and a shot like that's usually the buzz to kind of get you going and this ends up being your champagne at the end of the night <laughs> okay i'm not gonna give you water i'm gonna give you champagne when you don't want to drink no more hard liquor and you just want to sip for a while this is your sip um so it is all of that in one all right, so it is the tequila, it is the margarita, and then it is the champagne sip light as I get ready to calm down for the night. That's what's in here. Okay, tell me what you guys think. I am not going to say this is a, a safe blind buy, um, and I'm going to retract that a little bit just because it is overly sweet, and some people are going to feel like it's just too sweet and they can't do it. So it's not a fresh and clean. It's not an overly musky um fragrance it is a great middle ground fragrance and i love it it is beautiful so if you guys have anything to say about it let me know in the comment section below if you love it if you hate it if you're on the fence about it hopefully i help you go ahead and uh, move over the fence and go back into the store okay so that means you're sitting on the fence by the mall you're sitting on the wall at the mall go get it if you are down for a good scent and you're not scared of the overly sweet. And that is it for me, guys. I will see you in the next video. Um, I have a few style videos coming up, so stay tuned. I'm super excited about that. I shot that this week. And I will see you guys soon. Toodles, noodles.